If you've been creating pins for your blog posts, but no one is actually pinning them, then watch until the end of this video so you can find out how to use a pin it button on your Squarespace website to increase your traffic. And speaking of increasing your traffic, if you want more advice with that, then make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the little bell to be notified every Wednesday when I post a new video. If you're publishing blog posts and creating Pinterest graphics, but no one is pinning them, by the end of this tutorial, you'll have successfully installed a pin it button on your Squarespace website to make it the easiest thing in the world for your readers to share your content. Since I started using a pin it button on my own website, I've reached over 2 million more monthly unique viewers on Pinterest and Pinterest is the second highest driver of traffic to my blog and it can be for you too. Before we get into the tutorial I want to ask you a quick question. Are you using Pinterest for your blog? Because if you're not you need to get on it right now. It's such a powerful tool for increasing your traffic building your brand and making more money from your website. First of all, I'm going to go into the back end of my Squarespace website. So I'm already logged in and this is what it will look like when you are logged in. And then I'm going to go to the sidebar on the left hand side and I'm going to click settings. After I do that, I'm going to go to connected accounts, click connect account and then click on Pinterest. It will then ask you for your login details and will automatically connect. So as you can see, I've already done that here and this is what you will see when you connect yours. So there is my Pinterest account. Before we carry on, I just want to know something. So comment below with the words, I struggle, if you struggle to know how to use Pinterest to drive traffic to your blog. Let me know in the comments. Then you're going to go back to settings and back again to the main menu and then you're going to click on marketing and scroll down to Pinterest save buttons. Click on that and the first thing you want to do is make sure that these are enabled. So you can enable them just for your blog posts or for all your blog posts and all your other pages and products and I recommend you choose everything. Then you can choose the size so you can choose whether you want the pin it button to be large or small. I picked large because well the bigger it is the more likely that people are going to see it aren't they and we want as many people as possible pinning our content so I picked large. Then you can choose the shape of the pin it button and you can choose whether to have it as a circle or a rectangle so it gives you a little preview down here so this is this what the circle one looks like it shows you an example here and this is what the rectangle one looks like I've chosen the circle because I just think that that looks nicer than a rectangle so just double check one more time that it's enabled and then you can go back to the main menu so now I want to show you what this looks like in practice and you can see what this is going to look like while you're in the back end of your Squarespace website. So let's say we go over to my blog and we click on one of my articles. So let's say this one, for example, as this is all about social media. Now, if you do this in the back end of your website, all you need to do is go to pages and then blog and you can do exactly the same thing here. So you can click on this blog post and then you can use this little arrow up here to expand the page. And this shows you exactly what it's going to look like. So you can see here in my social icons that Pinterest is connected and if I click onto it, then my Pinterest profile is going to open up in a new tab. So let's say you come over to my blog post and you want to pin it. So you hover over this main image, my Pinterest graphic, and as you can see, a little Pinterest button is going to pop up right there in the left hand corner and then you can pin it to one of your boards. And one final thing, if you go through all these steps and install the pin it button, but you think your pins could look better, then I've created a full tutorial on how to make Pinterest pins that have the potential to go viral. So I'll leave a link to that tutorial in the description below. 
Now you know exactly how to add a pin it button to your Squarespace website, but how do you actually get more people to your website so they can pin your content? I've got a boss traffic flow checklist to make sure you've got the basic foundations in place to get a consistent flow of traffic to your website no matter what niche you're in. The link to that is below this video. Also, if you want to join a community of bloggers and business owners just like you, I have a secret society where I share up-to-date online marketing advice and the strategies I've used to get to where I am today. If you like this video, please let me know by liking it below, subscribe to my channel and share it with all your fellow blogging bosses. And if you found this video helpful, then please let me know by commenting helpful below. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. You just bossed it.